That is really wild, man. Right. Here are the meal cards, the IDs, and the keys. Room 314, just down the hall. If you have any questions, just ask the RA. Thank you, Jacob Crenshaw and Andrew Hilliard. Consider this a service to your planet. Always happy to serve the planet, aren't we, Jake? More than happy, Andy. Hey, Jake. Andy? What's the current market value of pure, solid gold? You know, I'm not quite sure. Just out of uh, intellectual curiosity. Yeah? Let's go find out. two freshmen down the hall. You mean Jake and Andy. I wouldn't waste my time if I were you. Why not? I think they have potential. I've met them. They're obnoxious, chauvinistic, bigoted guys. So what's your point? Besides, I thought you said I should meet people and now look who's judging others. Well, at least I gave them a fair trial. That's what they told Joan of Arc. We've talked it over, and we think we can come to some sort of arrangement. They're gone. They're not here. They're gone. Worse than that, they're out there somewhere on the campus. And if they've already cloned somebody else's bodies... We may never find them. And who knows where they are, or what they might be doing. Man, I don't want to be here. What do you mean? Hello? Hi, I'm Monica from down the hall. Can I come in? I just thought I'd welcome you to Stanford, seeing as you're freshman and all. Hey, you guys haven't even unpacked yet. Unpacked what? Unpacked your things. In the boxes. No, we haven't. Should we? Uh, yeah, I would think. That is if we're going to be staying a while. We might leave soon. What? The room. We might leave the room. Soon. I see. Hey, what's your name is Andy? Jake? I am Andrew Hilliard. I am Jacob Crenshaw. We are students. Yes, I see. Hey, are you guys foreign exchange students or something? Exchange? Students? I've always wanted to meet somebody from another country. Maybe we could get together sometime. Sure. <laughs> Why? Well, we could teach each other about our native customs. That sounds... informative. Sure. In the meantime, if you ever want me for anything, I'll be right down the hall. Did you hear that? What? She just offered us her unquestioning servitude. We can now order her to do... 
anything. Do you realize what this means? She's a janitor? It means we control her mind. She is our slave. It means the people of this planet will be easier to rule than a flock of retarded sheep. And when we take them over, we can use them as a slave army to return and take control of our own world. Which leaves only one problem. Labor disputes? No. How do we contact the ship and convince them to pick us up? Well, you couldn't have been more wrong about those two. What are you talking about? Andy and Jake. They're not chauvinists. They're foreign exchange students. Are you sure we're talking about the same people? Yeah. No more Nobel Prize. No more tenured position on the Stanford faculty. No more major government research grants. Rich? Uh -huh. You never had any of that anyway. Come in. What do you want? We have come to ask your assistance, Rich, major of computer science. Well, my assistance is out at the moment and... Hey! Hi. Oh, great. It's you! You found bodies! Yes, but only you and Ed of Earth must know. Of course, of course. Um, and what can we do for you? We must contact the ship. Just let them know we are safe. You see, our transmitter was lost. Well, you happen to be in luck, because I have just developed a means of transmitting electromagnetic subspace communications waves across vast interstellar distances. He built a space radio. Right. Now you take this portable transmitter, and this is what you have to do.